I'm straight out the hood, straight out the street. Got a head full of trash, mouth full of gold teeth. I count big bread, get money every week. In the post All right, what up again, YouTube? Uh, Smoke Reaper. Uh, I got a uh, comment on my video for my lights that I just put in. Uh, bumping that bass, wanted to know where I got them, now I hooked them up. Truth be told, uh, they're $10 at Walmart. <laughs> so, I mean, you can always go pick them up. They're real cheap and they're easy to put in, so I'll show you what I did to put them in. Alright, they're not too big. There's a, They come in a two-pack. They, they're big enough that they stretch across my subs. So I'm going to say about a little over 12 inches on each. Alright, on the back here, when they uh, when you get them, they're gonna have a port on that you can plug into your cigarette lighter. So what you do is you cut them you cut them off. They're gonna be put in like here. I'll pull one out to show you. Yeah, pull this one. Pull this one. If I can get it out. Okay. There's gonna be like a cigarette lighter attached to the end of them. They're gonna be attached to both sides. So it's gonna look like this. I don't have the uh, other piece with me, but you know what the cigarette outlet looks like, how it plugs in, all that. It's sort of like uh, charging a uh, like an iPod charger for your cigarette lighter. What you do is you cut them both off, and they're going to be really tightly wound together, just like that. All you got to do is peel them back once you cut them, and to splice off the ends, you'll see the one is positive and negative. All you do is put them in your terminals back here, so... I'm going to put them back in the terminals a second. I'm going to put this down. So give me a quick second. All you really got to do, like I said, is uh, just splice the ends of them, peel them apart. They're a little uh, annoying to peel apart because, they're, like I said, they're so tightly put together. So, And they're going to come out in like really tiny strips. So the best thing you can, I can tell you to do is just twist them up, fold it in half so it gives a little bit more of a bulk to it. Then you take them and you just put them in the put the one that's white positive into uh, the positive terminal and the one that just has is just a straight black into the negative terminal and that's what it'll look like and that's it pretty much man I mean it took me about maybe five minutes so I have them stretched like that like I said you can see the whites with the white whites on the positive, blacks on the negative, just like you would with speaker wire. So, hold on a second. I don't know what this is, but I'll show you that they light up like that. So that's pretty much it. They're just gonna they'll light up so every time the sat the base goes through. Sorry about that. Like every time the bass goes through, it'll pulse through them. Like I said, they're like 10 bucks at Walmart, and they come in a two-pack. Just make sure you get the ones that are big strips like that. They have a couple different ones there. Uh, grab those. Like I said, cut off the ends where the cigarette lighter is, pull it in half, splice the end of the wires. Uh, the white wire will have the, is the positive, and just the straight black is the negative. Peel them apart, hook it right into your terminals, and you're good to go, man. So that's for bumping that base. Check it out. Oh, one thing I forgot to add about the lights <clears throat> is the louder you have your system, the brighter the lights will be. So if you have it turned down and your uh, subs aren't getting as much power from your amp, the uh, lights will be more dim. But the, br the more you have the volume up, the brighter it will be. So remember that part. Peace.